Hey team, welcome to the super fantastic seven minute interview. This is where I get a chance to connect with some leaders, thinkers, and motivators because I believe we all have a super in us waiting to create a fantastic environment circumstance around us. And I've got some leaders and thinkers that I connected with so that I can help you create your own super fantastic. Recently, I was able to connect with Velma Knowles. If you have not heard of her, you will now, because she is absolutely incredible. I want you to meet Velma. She's an award-winning association leader, multi-best-selling author, and trusted advisor on membership, growth, and leadership performance. She's an author of a few of my favorite books, The Valuable Leader and The Valuable Communicator, and Living Beyond Purpose, three amazing books. So guys, she is uh, energetic and her motivation is contagious. So without further ado, let's meet Velma Knowles. Are you ready? I am ready, Gary. Excellent. I'm getting my clock started. I've got the timer set for seven minutes for our seven minute interview. So question number one, let's begin. Velma, why do you do the things that you do? Oh, thank you for asking, Gary. <laughs> you know, on my journey, I, I've learned that when you seek success, life is all about you. And mm -hmm. when you seek significance, life becomes about others. So I do what I do today because I've learned that true success is really to live a life of significance. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's, there's so many people have invested in me and contribute and they continue to do so on my journey. And I'm at a place where I really want to be in a position to give back to others. And so that's why I do it. I think Zig Ziglar said it best. He said that you will get more out of life if you help enough people get what they want. Oh, wow. And so that's my goal. I would encourage others to, to do the same. I love that I have never heard the success is is an individual and significance is helping other people. What a valuable thing to share. I, I absolutely love that. And I'm going to write that down and save it. That is really good stuff. All right, so question number two, you're doing great on the time, Velma. How did you create your format or the strategy of the, all the things that you do? So another great question and thank you for asking. I. I like to say that the best decision that someone else ever made for me was the decision to fire me. That's right. You heard really? that. Really? To, to fire me. <laughs> you see, yeah, you see, you always have a choice. And when, when you're faced with challenges, you can choose to live life by default mm -hmm. or you could choose to live life by design. And when my comfy corporate position ended in 2013, I made a decision to live my life by design. Mm. And at that moment, a world of possibilities opened up for me, Gary. I mean, so my, my strategy is really a result of ongoing personal and professional growth. I have become known better. I know myself better. I understand my gifts and my talents and how I can help and add value to others. Mm -hmm. And for this interview, I, I've said, what could I share with your listeners to help them beyond me? And I think Walt Disney says it best and he said it best. And, and Disney said to find a job that you like so much that you would do it without compensation and then do it so well that people will pay you to continue to do it. And so that's what I'm at now. I, I want to <laughs> do what I do really well, which is my mm -hmm. gifts and my talents. Yeah. And I want to do it so well that people will pay me to continue. I love that. And, it, and, you, and you share that all stemmed from you getting fired to help you realize kind of, you know, your approach and to identify those gifts and talents. Yes. That is amazing. And then I really enjoy Disney's quote where you know, you, you find that thing that you just love to do and do it so well that people end up paying, paying you for it. That's brilliant. <laughs> and that's where, and, and that, and Velma, that's where you are right now, where you are truly doing the things that you love. Yeah. Absolutely. Awesome. Thank you. Yes. All right. We're still doing great on time, Velma. I'm so proud of you. You're great. Wow. Question number three, what actions did you take to make all of this happen? Yeah. Wow. Another great question. And one, that I had to really reflect on for this interview. 
It's been said that, you know, first you make choices and then your choices make you. And I think there's four things that I strive to do every day. And those are one, I seek godly wisdom. I'm a woman of faith and I truly believe that I'm here for a higher purpose. Mm -hmm. And so that's the first thing that I do. The second thing that I do every day is I set goals for myself. I write them down because okay. then they become more visual and concrete, right? You're writing them down, but I don't just write them down because that's setting goals. You have to work towards achieving them and, and that requires taking action. So I take action towards them. I challenge myself to learn and to execute and on what I learn. And, and when I fail and I do fail, I say, what lessons and learnings can I take and rise up again and, and then work towards the goals. Um, when I win some and I do win some, I yeah. remind myself that I got to celebrate those wins. The, the third thing is I exercise patience and I'll say that I exercise it because it's very hard for me. Uh, I want to accomplish, like all of us, we want to accomplish our goals, right? But I understand that timing is important. And sometimes you are ready for something, but others are not ready for it. And then sometimes, you know, others are ready, but you're not. And so timing is really important and understanding patience. And I guess the fourth thing I do is that I remind myself that I need to be grateful. Uh, you know, I've accomplished a lot in my life and I still am and I'm truly blessed. And like all of us, I think we've learned that attitude of gratitude is really good, healthy living. Absolutely. Yeah. So those are my four actions I strive to take every day. <laughs> <laughs> that is fantastic. And, and I love how you talked about design and default. And it, it feels like, you know, if I could take a takeaway from our conversation is you've designed purposefully, intentionally, to set your goals, take action on them so that you can accomplish the things that you do, but understand at the same time, you have to be patient with the things that you're doing because timing is all, you know, all encompassing. I, you know, yeah, like you said. I, 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 one of the things I share is that if you, what happens, I always ask my audience when I do my speeches, what happens if you do nothing? And mm. they look at me and I said, not a trick question. Nothing happens if you do nothing. Right. So having the goals also means having the action, putting the yeah. muscle behind it. That is great. And you have to be intentional about it. And I, and I love that you also shared to have an attitude of gratitude. I think that really carries people a long way when they understand that gratitude is such a critical piece of just daily life. Yeah. And that's that's an action in of itself as well, right? <laughs> Absolutely. That's why I put it there. <laughs> I love it. Velma, look at this. You have done such a fabulous oh. job right on time. I can't tell you how excited. All the credit I goes to you. You are no. the best coach. <laughs> oh, you are amazing. And I love it. And I'm honored that I get to spend time with you. You delivered the super fantastic, to say the least. So thank you so much. Now, I do have a bonus question for you, Velma. Sure. Are you ready for this one? I think so. All right. How can our viewers connect with you? Yeah, well, I love to connect with anyone that's open to it. And you can always find me on the web. My uh, website is my name, VelmaNoles.com. And that's Knowles with a K, N-O-W-L-E-S. So VelmaNoles.com is the best way to reach me. And I answer every email that comes through. <laughs> yes, she does. I bother her all the time and she's so <laughs> responsive. I appreciate it. Hey, thank you so much, guys. And I really want to encourage you to grab a copy of both of these books, absolutely valuable books. And I'm not, that's no pun intended. Those are incredibly valuable books on leadership and communication. I tell you, I use some components out of those books in my daily life. So grab a copy of those books. Um, Velma, thank you so much for your insight and wisdom. Make sure you check out VelmaKnowles.com. Connect with her. She's amazing. Oh, absolutely you. incredible coach, mentor. Until next time, remember, you can create your super fantastic. Thank you guys. Bye guys.